Will I lose my hair on TRT? Uh, this is a common question that people ask. So if you want to find out some information about that, keep watching. So welcome to Balance My Hormones video. Uh, today we're going to talk about does TRT cause hair loss? Am I going to lose my hair on TRT? Uh, believe it or not, I being on TRT, I've actually shaved my head. I, it's not. I've actually. This is my hairline. I've got a massive forehead. Um, I haven't actually lost any hair, interesting enough. But luckily today, we do have someone who's a real specialist in the area of not having any hair. Uh, hi, Mike. So hello. Yeah. Thank you, Sam. <laughs> yes, I'm happy to discuss my um, loss of yeah. locks. Uh, it's uh, You've got a great lid. Thanks. I'm a good slap head. Yeah, it's something that. <laughs> I, you know, when you're younger, you never yeah. know if you're going to lose your hair. Um, I don't know if I would have lost my hair anyway. It could be linked to autoimmune disorder as well as uh, androgenic, androgenetic alopecia, which can be exacerbated in some people who have, um, have the gene and also have extra androgen. So what I'm trying to say is if you are on TRT, you may not lose your hair. Look at Sam, he's been on TRT for ages. He's Look there. at me, I've been on for 24 years. I didn't lose it until I turned 30, but I was noticing thinning all along the way since I started TRT because I believe I have a genetic predisposition. This is why I still have lots of facial hair on my beard. To having TRT? Or you've got a genetic predisposition no, to the, no, but what having I'm saying hair is loss. I've, 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 there's a genetic predisposition to having hair on my beard, but there's also a genetic yeah. Yeah. Uh, factor for having no hair on the crown of my head. Mm. But I still have it on my sides, even though I've shaved them today. Yeah. So what does that tell you? There are certain receptors in the hair follicle that are more sensitive to both DHT and perhaps some other uh, autoimmune, uh, or the DHT kicks off some autoimmune disorder, which causes you to lose your hair. It's not caused by testosterone necessarily, but if it is present, yeah. uh, you may experience some thinning or hair loss, that the amount of which is determined by your genes. So what, what I think a good thing to say is, uh, apart from just the having androgens in your body, there are some other things like my, Mike mentioned, like autoimmune disease, thyroid disease, things like that, that can cause hair loss outside of the things that people are worrying about when they're talking about starting testosterone, yeah. right? And, and generally, it seems to be in the medical community that the, 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 the factors are that it's generally a genetic uh, element that is going to cause you to have hair loss that's triggered by DHT in the body. Um, and that if you have the genes for hair loss, you're going to lose your hair whether you've got lower hormones or normal hormones, you know, optimized hormones. But there may be, if you've got lower hormones, it may be, you may be losing it slower, at a slower rate. So when one, if they were to have the genes for hair loss and they are looking to see if they, they need TRT and, and perhaps they, they're started on TRT and you restore the testosterone in the body, and testosterone does convert to dihydrotestosterone, which is responsible for stimulating uh, very basically the hair loss. Um, if you've got the genetics for it, it may speed up from having low levels of hormones to normalizing your hormones. You might notice an increase in the, in the rate at which you lose it. Is that a good summary? Yeah, I mean, I remember yeah. when I started losing it, I noticed more shedding, you know, get hair in your food sometimes, which isn't very nice. So it's actually quite nice just to shave the head. So it's not the end of the world, though. It can be very disheartening when you're like in your 20s and you're losing your hair. It's not mm. ideal. But, um, you know, I think the shaved look isn't bad for some people. Others choose to have hair transplants put in. Mm. Um, other people, they don't worry about it. So it just depends what works for there you. Are some, there are some options, aren't there? There's like topical options like minoxidil, finasteride, some other things that... The Tanoprost. Yeah, the... You know, I know people use and, and, and some of our doctors use if, if the patient requests it. And there are some... Which can block the yeah. effect of the hormone in the, in the hair follicles. But and, yeah. and there may be treatments on the way that may be as simple as applying some sort of lotion to your scalp that may cause regeneration. There are talks about hair multiplication or cloning of hairs to implant 
Um, most hair transplants use a donor area, usually from the back of the head and the sides, and then place them to have the appearance of fullness on, on the scalp and, and, the, and the area that's... Um, like Wayne Rooney. Yeah, and you might not. He's got a good head of hair now. So yeah, there's, I know the, the, the area of hair loss is, is a new sort of, uh, you know, there's quite a lot of interest in it. So I'm sure in the next few years, there's going to be some more things coming out. But really, there's, there's topical... Uh, things that it, that can be used to help um, prevent that hair loss. Yeah, and I think for me, as a young man, it was more important to feel healthy, strong, improve libido, erections, than to worry about my hair. But that's a very personal thing mm -hmm. that everyone you, has to come to terms with. You need that hormone. You need DHT for normal health and function in the body, sex drive, mood those sorts of things. And those who use uh, oral finasteride or Propecia, some Mm. report later on all of a sudden they lost their hormones they, they the, the the balance was thrown off they got too low, low dht sex drive, low yeah. sex drive lack of erections yeah so it's very disappointing and we we've helped patients in that scenario as well so so hopefully that helps that was mike the specialist without any yeah, hair thank you so that's a summary of will i lose my hair on trt uh, the, there is a genetic part to it. If you're losing your hair, or you've got the genes, and you've got lower hormones, putting your hormones back to where they should be, you may notice an increase in that um, process you already have going on. But like I said, there are some things that the doctor can prescribe or you can actually get over the counter that uh, can help prevent that on or off TRT. Because remember, there are men with good levels of testosterone that are losing... <laughs> No, no, no. Naturally, they <laughs> are losing their hair, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. So um, it's not just TRT. Yeah. All right. All right. So if you like the video, please click the sub sub subscription button, uh, ring the notification so bell. The subscribe buttons, I think, in the middle. Here. No, to the side. There. <laughs> and like. And um, comment. Yeah, comment if there's anything that, that you'd like to comment about this video. Um, we'd love to hear it. So thanks for watching. Thank you. Bye. Cheers.